tabletop RPGs, um, the pacing is determined by the people sitting around the table playing. There's time to reflect. There's time to go to the bathroom. There, there's, there's time to ask a question of the game master if you don't understand something. In a computer game, you can't do any of those things in the same way. The game has to give you enough information that you don't feel frustrated when you're playing it. The game has to create the experience where you, you are there. You are on the dragon's back, or you are fighting the goblins, or you are exploring the ruins. You have to be in the moment. And being in the moment has to be fun in and of itself. And the computer game has to offer you pacing. If you want to go fast, it should allow you to go fast. If you want to really duke it out with things, you should have that opportunity. And it has to play fair in the puzzles. It can't, it can't fool you or trick you. And it shouldn't misdirect you as much as, say, um, the writer of a locked, locked room murder mystery will put all the clues in but misdirect the reader. So they're there when you look back, but it should be a pretty baffling only way. That, nobody wants that level of frustration in their computer games. They want to have fun. So that has to be borne in mind. A tabletop game allows time for people to puzzle out the rules when they're setting it up, to argue about how this rule, that rule goes. You can't have any of that in a computer game. The computer game has to do all that work for you so you can enjoy the fun. It has to immerse you in the fantasy world. In this case, we have to take you to Australia. You have to enjoy being in Australia. You have to think that Australia is worth saving. And you have to care about Zia, this carrot red-haired girl in, in the green who's trotting around in front of you, and you get to run her. and. It has to be intriguing that you get to craft the spells. This has to be cool. And the crafting of spells has to be done in a visual way so that you don't have to sit down and read instruction manuals. Because this is one thing that we hate doing in life. It's reading instruction manuals. Reading instruction manuals is like sitting down to do your taxes. And where's the fun in that? 